If you've ever used a custom animation tool in Canva, you may have found yourself limited by that 10 second time limit. You're dragging something around after 10 seconds, boom, it stops your recording. You can't animate past 10 seconds. Well, there is actually a workaround if you want a custom animation that goes beyond 10 seconds. And that's what we're going over in today's Five Minute Friday. Let's get to it. Okay, I have this simple scene put together in Canva here, and I have this B element, and it's got an animation of this wing flap, which it came in with by default, but I wanna add another animation to this element. So anytime you're working with video or animation in Canva, you wanna make sure you go down and start by clicking on this duration tab so you get this timeline view. Now, for some reason, you don't see this duration tab. There are a few projects where Canva expects uh, static content, a few different project types. And so if you're not seeing that duration uh, tab down here, that duration option, you may have to copy all the elements on your page and paste them over to a new project where it expects animation. Now, if you launch a project from the home page and you use any sort of presentation, any sort of social media uh, type of project, a video project, it's gonna expect that animation. You can also just do custom size. And so if I do custom size and use any size or type in any size here, that's gonna launch with that duration option. Just a little tip, just make sure you have this duration option. Okay, so once you have that duration option, we have the custom timeline here. We're gonna start by just clicking on the element we wanna animate, and we'll go under this animate option up here. Now, when you do this, we have this create an animation option, which brings up the custom animation tool in Canva. Now, if you're not familiar with this tool, I will post a link up above, because we're not gonna go over all the details in this video, but we are gonna go over that trick that lets you really create an animation of any length. Because by default, when you go in here and you create an animation, the one limitation you may hit is, oh, it only lets me record 10 seconds of animation. Well, you actually can get around that, and that's what we're going over in this video. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and click this Create an Animation option, and then we're just gonna drag our element across the screen here to make this animation. So I'll sort of have him hop over to this flower, pause for a second, then he's gonna hop to the next flower, and then the next, and then the next. And at some point when you're doing this, you may suddenly, you know, may notice that it suddenly stops recording. And that's because it only lets you record 10 seconds of animation. So even though this is a one minute clip here, and I can see uh, this option on screen here, so go ahead and click done when we're done here. Uh, and then you're gonna have this uh, timeline view here where you actually see the element on screen. And so this is the timeline element for this, and you can show in high element timing like this. So that's another something you have to know is that you can click on any element here. And so if we click on this B here, and I right click and I can hide element timing, it gets rid of that timeline. But then if I wanna show it again, right click, show element timing. So this show timing option is crucial when you're working in this sort of animation. So this is a one minute clip, and so by default it added a one minute uh, sort of time timeline element here for the B, but if you watch me record, you know I only recorded about 10 seconds of animation. And so I can see that if I scroll through this timeline, he's not moving, he's not moving, he's not moving. If I get all the way back to the 10 second mark, that's actually where my sort of motion stopped. It's pretty much right there at around 10 seconds because it only lets you record like 10 seconds of animation and then it's gonna cut you off like this. So even though this is extended well, well beyond that, it's not actually gonna have movement for that whole stretch there. So this is the problem. Like what if I wanted him to fly across the screen and once he gets to this flower, I want him to pause and go back, but that animation's really gonna take more than 10 seconds. I wanna be able to have animation across this whole minute if I want to, so how do I get around this? Well, here's what we're gonna do. We are limited to those 10 second recordings, those 10 second clips we can record, but we can create multiple copies of our B. So for starters, since we know the animation only goes to around the 10 second mark, let's start to clean up here. So let's drag this back towards the 10 second mark. Now also, if you ever need to zoom in on your timeline, you can switch here between zooming on the page and zooming on the timeline. So if we switch to zoom on the thumbnails here, you can zoom in just so you can get a little bit more precise in here with your edits. And so you can come in here and find exactly the point where you want that B to turn around. So maybe I want him to sort of pause here for a second. Uh, when he gets to the flower, but then maybe I want him to turn around right there so I don't actually need this extra part here. So I'll just drag that back. But then what I'm gonna do is on the B here, I'm just gonna hit Control C to copy the B. 
and control V to paste the B, or you can actually just right click and choose duplicate. Uh, so now we have an extra copy of the B there. And so now with this other copy of this B, what we wanted to do here is we don't want this another this next copy to come into play until we get to the very end of him flying across the screen, right? So if we drag it to the end here, and then what we want to do is sort of drag our playhead back and forth here, and we can see that right there he disappears, and we want this next one to show up. So let's make sure we have the right copy of this. So let's bring him over. And then also, of course, he's still playing that animation. We don't want the animation on him yet because we're going to record a new one. So on this second copy of the B, we're going to come up here on their custom animation. We'll go in here to custom animation. We're going to delete path. That's going to get rid of that animation. Let's just close out of this for a second. So now we can really start to see uh, where he is in relation to the first B. Now, you see where it jumps from timeline to timeline. I actually should be able to drag these and get this one just to sink down so I can put them right up next to each other. So one shows up and disappears and the other shows. Now I can see there's a shift there. Now the bad thing is I can't really click on this B to see the position because by default it's nested and it goes back here. So that animation is nested. I can't see where it is on the screen. But if I scrub through, I can. So I can see right here that when it jumps, it's jumping down and to the right a little bit. So that that's, lets me know I need to sort of take that initial position up here a little bit. So let me just move it up a little bit. And so you can scrub back and forth until you get them pretty much exactly in the same spot. Of course, if there's a little movement, that's probably okay because this is going to be an animation. And so what I'm going to do is click this copy. We'll flip him. We'll flip him back the other way. And then now I'm ready to go in and record my next part of the animation. So we have him flying across the screen with that first copy of the B. And now he's making the turn. And so now I'm going to come in here on the second copy of the B and we're going to go under animate. And once again, we'll do this create animation. And now I'm just going to have him go here, pause, go here, pause, go here, pause, and then make it all the way back. So now I have two different copies of the B all combining to make this animation. And of course, if we go back, we'll click done there. We'll go back and we'll play the whole thing. And now we can see that we've gotten around the limitation of only being able to record 10 seconds of animation because you can create multiple copies. So what you want to do if you have one element that you want to continue to animate, you're just going to make an additional copy. Make sure you have that show timing. Make sure you line up your timeline so they're not both on the screen at the same time. And then this is how you can really create endless animations in Canva for as long of a duration as you want, okay? So you can only record 10 seconds at a time, but then if you need to have even more animation, you can clone that element and you can record even more custom animation, okay? So I hope this is helpful. Thanks for watching. Everything I do so instinctive and so passionate Every word I move so descriptive like an adjective I got a vendetta against people who patented it Being negative when you should be getting after it I got facts over facts over tracks This and that spitting slow, spitting fast I could roast, I could gas Think I'm okay at last But I don't know if that can erase all the past